This video is for bishops or other ecclesiastical leaders interviewing BYU Pathway Worldwide students who want to attend a church educational system university, such as BYU-Idaho or Ensign College. These students may be either members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or members of other faiths. Ecclesiastical leaders interviewing members of the church should include bishops, branch presidents, mission presidents, or historical site presidents who will carry out the first interview. The second interview will be done by a member of the student's stake or district presidency. For members of another faith, first interviews may be done by bishops, branch presidents, or leaders of their own faith. Their second interviews will be done by the chaplain of the church-sponsored university that they will be attending. Step 1. You as the bishop or branch president will go to endorse.byu.edu. Select the leader button to log in. The student should have already completed their part of the endorsement before meeting with you. The students may provide you with printed instructions before the interview. Use your church username and password to sign in. If you do not have a church account, select the link Sign Up to create an account. Step 3. You may see this pop-up box if this is your first time logging into the endorsement website. The site wants permission to access your membership ID, your church account profile, and your unique identification number. Check the Save Consent box, then click Allow. Step 4. On the next page, there are three tabs. New Applicants. These are students applying to a church school such as BYU-Idaho or Ensign College for the first time, who are waiting for an endorsement. Continuing Students. These are current church school students who are waiting for an endorsement. Completed, a list of endorsements that you have already completed. Your students will be in the New Applicants tab. If your student is not in the New Applicant tab, it may be because the student chose Continuing Student by mistake. You can check by clicking the Continuing Students tab. A new student who is listed there needs to start the endorsement over. Ask him or her to cancel the endorsement request and begin again as a new applicant. Two, the student chose the incorrect ward, branch, or stake, district. He or she should go back to the application to choose the correct location. Students can go to the website shown here if they need to find the correct ward and stake. Step five, in the new uh, applicants tab, select your student's name. Next, ask the student to read the honor code and agree to live by it. You and the student will read and answer questions on the page. Check each question as the student agrees. You must check all three boxes to continue. Step six, scroll to the bottom of the page and select yes, endorse if your student meets the requirements. The other options to select are no, do not endorse, which will not endorse the student, or please have a university chaplain contact me to answer questions about this endorsement. This can be used if the, a church leader has questions concerning the requirements for endorsement. After clicking on one of the choices, you will see a message that your choice has been recorded. Step 7. Click on the completed tab to see a list of endorsements that you have completed. If you want to change your choice, you can make a different decision in this tab. Step 8. Students who are members of the church will need to contact a member of the stake or district presidency for their second interview. Students who are members of another faith will be contacted by a university chaplain for their second interview, which will be done remotely. Thank you very much for helping students to attend a church educational system university.